Hi everyone, it's uh, Greg again down the allotment, 29th of June, week 11. Um, I haven't been down much this weekend. Well, it's the first time I've come down actually. So those spring onions need to go in. Carrots, this one there is a weird one. I think it's the bloating or something. Like The right is Norfolk Giant. <coughs> Peas climbing. Yeah, I'm going to take it to about eight foot high. Possibly not this year. And the boys and berries are going a little bit. Right. I didn't see in the middle of that the bottom the cauliflower. Head starting to farm. I think they're going to be very big. But better than nothing, I suppose. <coughs> the uh, potatoes in the bags are doing okay. The flowers have all dropped off them. And then the sweet corn is doing really well. Nearly four foot high now. Porch deck plants are all coming into flower. Do you know what that little um, insect is there? Like, well, there's two of them. We have beetroot, I'm gonna pull, pull this one. That's not bad. That's all. Pretty uniform. The variety is solist. sign of any borders and the raspberries are all doing fine with the look of it. There's some more of them uh, little weevil things in there. The little sprouts are fine. No sign of any um, butterfly damage. These are snowball turnips starting to bulb up well. Cosmos of flower in the uh, nasturtiums are just taking over. So much of them being Is forever weeding this mare's tail stuff. I'm going to try something different. I've got a little syringe with a needle. I'm going to inject it with the stuff. Um, we saw gooseberry still there. Don't know when you meant to pick them. The blue barb's doing well. As are the black currants. That cosmos. Beautiful, isn't it? And that rhubarb's fine. I've weeded in amongst the strawberries last week. Um, there's some more of that mare's tail coming up there. And I've put the runners, I've planted some of the runners. So they hopefully will take and increase the stock. 
little enlarge on the uh, sweet corn front. And the carrots are all going on in the, the blue tubes. Pumpkin. It's fine. Get them now that it's going out of the pot. So they're very small at the minute, just a bit bigger than peas, but they're very sweet and tasty. The cabbage is hard enough, well, probably another week. Oh, a week. And these are the and these greyhound ones are all starting to heart up now. in the backs, they're all starting to melt, they've all been watered. So well, they're telling me that they're ready to be picked. Look at that broad bean there, it's fell over. Have to pick that. Um, then the poly tunnel, well, we'll have a look at the bibliot. So it's a little bit unhealthy at the minute. That one doesn't look too bad. Anyway, I've only just come down so the lens might steam up when I open this. Yeah, it's warm in there. Right then. As you can see, the uh, tomatoes have ripened quite a lot. I just hesitate in going in because uh, because of the heat. Oh, I'll go around and open the other door and uh, right again. Yeah, I've got a few tomatoes already, so I'm pleased with that. I think before July's in and some tomatoes are ripened, which for the northeast of England isn't too bad. It shows the benefits of having a polytunnel, I suppose, despite the hard work that they are. Right. I'll open. And then we'll walk back on the other side. Warm in there. These are the um, Amish paste. I have to save one of these for seeds. And some uh, Gardener's Delight. So they're doing canny. I'll have some of them today. Then this um, cucumber, and, uh, I think there's a big one somewhere, there's a, there's a couple of big ones there. And, uh, I'll have them later on. The uh, peppers are also doing quite well. There's still loads of flowers coming on this one. There's lots of little peppers, sweet peppers. These six, 
seven. There's about twenty on this one already. Um, the beans are taking over. Can't see any actual beans themselves yet. I am watering these well now and shouldn't be too long I don't think. The uh, can't see the big pepper at the back. No, I don't. I think it's gonna well, I think it'll have to go red before you pick them. Uh, another one here. Lots of peppers all over. Be chilli. I can't for the life of me find a chilli on here. There's loads of flowers and things, but no chilies themselves. Don't know if I've done some. Well, I'm not doing something right with them. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, all of the marigolds are flowering now. A bit too tall, really. My tomatoes. So I'll have a few of them. I've got enough for a salad today. Get some lettuce, beetroot, onions, cucumber, tomatoes. A good week, good look of it. I guess I've just come down. Um, I need to have a walk around and see what's going on. But on first view, everything's looking smashing. So it's uh, 11th week of the videos now. Things are coming on really well with the look of it. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and uh, do some spud reveals through the week. The last of the earlys and possibly move on to the second earlies. So thanks for watching. If anyone's got any advice on my chilies, the hot chilies that aren't uh, the flowering but not farming chilies, I'd appreciate it. And have a good week everyone. Take care now.